twilight spent the entire day of Christmas Eve in the library, until a knock at the door scared her, shining. Twy, are you in here? Opens the door fully to see his sister hunched by a bunch of books saying defense against the dark arts, history of magic, and unfor unforgivable curses. Shining was worried and confused. Twilight, oh, hello, brother. Why are you here so early? You're not supposed to arrive here until three o'clock. Twilight gave Shining a weak smile. Shining, Twilight, it's 11.53. 11.55. Aren't you supposed to be meeting Theo in the town square by now? Twilight rose to her hooves as she realized how late it was and started at the head for the square with Shining behind her. Shining, Twilight, can I ask you something? Twilight, yeah, sure. Shining. Why were you reading Defense Against the Dark Arts, History of Magic, and Unforgivable Curses, sister? Twilight. Decided to lie to her brother. Oh. I was practicing. So if I get into a fight with a dark creature or a dark pony, I can defeat him or her. Shining slowly nodded his head. He could tell Twilight wasn't telling him the truth. Shining. Yeah... You won't believe who showed up in the Crystal Empire two days ago. Discord had two mares with him. One was a purple pony with no eyes, plus a scorpion tail. For a tail. And the other one eerily looked like Theo. I think her name was Mears. Shining looked at Twilight, who stopped near entering the town square. Her eyes were fixed on two ponies talking to each other. Shining recognised them as Mears and Theo. She, he smiled at them, looked once more at his sister. His heart sunk. Twilight's eyes had turned into Sombra's eyes, and she looked really angry. Point of view. Theo waited at the Times Square for a while until Mears showed up. Theo, oh hi Mears. You got here quick. Mears, you didn't get my letter? Theo. No, all my meal isn't being delivered to me, so someone else is getting it. I can only guess they're getting the wrong address on it. But hey, at least the pony that reads our meal is reading a fake letter, thanks to the magic we place on our letters. Mears. Miss Hiss and Discord say hi. They can't wait to, to, for you to show off your mare friend to them. Theo. You haven't told them it's Princess Twilight Spark. Mears. Nope. Did you ask her the question? Theo? Yep. She told me last night she wasn't from Cantalot. I believe she has no relation to that scientist. So, Mears, what have you been up to? Mears. Oh, me? Miss Miss Hiss and Discord went up to c the Crystal Empire. I got to meet Shining Armor. I can't remember if he's a prince or a duke, but I started to hang out with him for a bit. He is very nice. Theo smiled at Mears for excitement. He noticed the Twilight and Shining coming up to them, then stopping at the edge of the town square. Theo and Mears started to look up, walk up to them. Mears looked up at Twilight to see the eyes. She stopped Theo from going any further. further. Theo, Mears, why are you stopping me? Mears whispered to Theo, look at her eyes. They're like sombers. Theo was about to say something, uh, but saying something to Twilight, but he heard one word that came out of Twilight's mouth, Twilight, Crucio. It was like time had just stopped, as the Crucioathus curse was said, as red magic ore was heading right towards Theo. He, he stood his ground, but was pushed out of the way by Mia's. She was smiling at him as he watched in horror. Mears, always and forever, brother. As the Kujiyatha curse hit, Mears, she let us scream that didn't sound like a pony but a creature in excruciating pain.